So you walk into this group of girls and everyone's pretty quiet the first day because no one knows each other. Looking at everyone, trying to see like what they were doing and like if I could approach them or not. We get put in these groups and you kind of get talking more, you relate to some other girls and it kind of becomes, you know, friendships. Our production crew name was the 96819ers. We just thought about our zip code 96819 and we decided to make that our group name. The name of my production crew was Color Productions with a U. We spelled it all fancy, the European way. We all come from different backgrounds, so we were like, let's use colors as a metaphor for that. All of the girls in our group ended up being 25% Polynesian of some sort. And I was like, well, I mean, we all are partially Polynesian. It could be partially Polynesian productions. Our title is The Cookie Thief, um, and it's about this girl who is really hungry and she finally finds a cookie, but someone steals it. Our film is called Meeting Near Ohana. The main character, Lonnie, is like really trying. She was so excited for her cousin to come that she'd never met before. Hey, I thought you were still on your but break. then when she comes, she's like saying all of these ridiculous things. Ooh, you can teach me how to play the ukulele. Ukulele. <laughs> but she's just really like not educated. The title of our film is Follow Me and it's about a teenage girl who moves to Hawaii and in her freshman year she experiences bullying. All I want is for you guys to be my friend. An account of sexual assault. Um, I would say the underlining message is something around um, you can't know everything and you can't expect everyone else to know everything, so be patient and be willing to teach and be willing to learn. Basically the message is that it gets better and people, um, despite what you may think, do go through the same things that you do, even if you aren't aware of it. So it's kind of cool to see like the evolution of just the little ideas into an actual movie. Whenever we first started out we had like all these different frames and scenes that we wanted to do and you know we wanted to have it like over the shoulder shot and under shot and all different kinds of shots and then we realized how long it takes just to get one good take of one specific shot. We tried to make it really simple but also we wanted it to be really funny and it was really awesome seeing it progress and become its own kind of thing. The um, filmmaking process made me realize how valuable it is because if you're not organized in it, you're not going to get anywhere. <laughs> like there's a very set process and if you don't follow the process or understand the process, it's really difficult to get everything the way you want it to be in the end. If they forget a line, you have to restart. You have to make sure the focus is just right, that the lighting isn't too bright. And Some of the scenes like that you like um, might not be what we actually want. It was a lot, but it's kind of fun to see it done as a whole and see like how much work you put into it and then how good it turned out. In post-production, seeing the film come together, it's like not just seeing your vision, but actually making it happen, like hands-on work. It's just so much fun. Having teachers that were there to help me learn rather than like at school, like teachers like help me pass a test. I loved the hands-on experience I was getting. I also like the intensity, I guess, of creating a film in like six days, because I was like, it's impossible, how are we gonna do this? And now we're here day six and our films are done and it just feels so good. <laughs>